Bobby Jarzombek here. And I've been a DW artist for about 16 years, I guess now. Um, I want to tell a little story about how that came to be. It was uh, 2006, I think, and I was in the studio with Rob Halford, and we were recording new Halford tracks. And uh, we were at the legendary Sound City Studios. And my drummer buddy, Mike Fasano, was also in the studio. And we were talking about uh, drum companies, and he said, well, have you checked DW out? And I said, well, I love the drums, of course. And he said, well, let's make a call. So we called, uh, and uh, a couple of days later, Stephen Vega from DW uh, came into the studio and watched me play a little bit, and we talked. And they invited me out to Oxnard to check out the factory and everything there. So a couple of weeks later, I did. And uh, when I got there, one of the first things I did was I checked out the whole drum making process from the uh, the plywood sheets and taking those and molding those into shells, sanding and uh, the painting, uh, the, putting the hardware on. It was so cool to check everything out and see it right there. And uh, then I had a sit down meeting with Don Lombardi, the president of DW, of course, and uh, and with John Good, the uh, drum guru, drum maker, designer. And both conversations were amazing. I mean, we talked drums, we talked our fav about our favorite drummers, everything. And uh, on my drive home, I was just thinking about it. And I said, man, this is where I need to be. You know, this is such a great company. And uh, I'm very proud to be a DW endorser. And so I just want to thank uh, everybody, and I want to say congratulations, 50 years. That's pretty awesome. Congrats, guys.